On behalf of the Ateneo de Manila University School of Government, I would like to welcome each one of you to PATH, Leadership Excellence and Development Program. We have mobilized here a solid roster of resource persons who are experts in their respective fields. Dr. Ruth Hirochi, Phil Torrio, Clarissa David, Asek, Javi Jimenez, Dr. Tony Lavinia, and July Amador. And we hope that you will take every opportunity to learn from them and from each other. Thank you and Godspeed. The essence of that is the leader being able to discern, to make decisions. What would be the best response given this particular context? The, the strategic leader must be able to know when to move to the right and when to move to the left and when to hold the balance. The desired change may not happen, but there are certain points when a leader will have to make decisions. At which point of the paradox will you move? And this is where the analysis of the context, the response, to the context would be very essential. When we look at policies, we're actually looking at the long term. There may be some policies that are implemented in the short term if there's a need. Those four steps that we discussed are concepts as part of the policy cycle. You would have to skip some steps depending actually on the situation in the ground. It's not linear. You would have to improvise or change certain steps that are in the policy cycle uh, or the policy process. Every time you are communicating, it is an opportunity to be strategic. And if there's one thing that you can learn, I hope you will learn from this, is that. That every time, kaharap kayo sa tao, kaharap kayo sa boss nyo, kaharap kayo in a unit, you're reporting up or you're briefing somebody important, that is an opportunity to be strategic. It is, it is good for anybody's career to be strategic in communicating because you will become known as somebody who is very efficient, um, knows what they're saying, and knows what information to share at the right time. So that exhibits good judgment. Ah. Adapt with an A and adapt with an E. So you adapt the principle. So Stratcom, what we what we've given you are like sort of general principles, uh, general theories uh, with a few practical applications. But you have to uh, adapt those principles and then you adapt it. No? Ibabagay niyo sa inyong kultura, sa inyong situation, sa in, sa, in, sa inyong uh, organizations organizational setup. You have to make it your own. And once you make it your own and you, you adapt it into your own culture, then you become adept at it. Frequently then, when conflict tayo, because we have the guts to put leadership on the line. And good leadership requires you to take this kind of risk for greater outcomes. The reason why change happens, the reason why the status quo is no longer sufficient, it, that's because society or your institution or your family requires that particular change. But when you do that, you put leadership on the line and you have outcomes that will be result in conflict that then needs to be addressed and resolved. Normally, when we talk about security challenges or threats, uh, we, div we divide them into two. We have what are called traditional security agenda. Now, these are particularly issues that are governed by military concerns or we consider military concerns as among the top issues here. And this involves interstate conflict. We also have what are called additional, called non-traditional uh, security concerns. We use other sectors of society. Uh, we use, uh, we have to be concerned with other stakeholders who will be involved. In the past, people are so concerned with their institutional reputation, but because of bridging leadership, they have to co-own the problem. But as long as they are working together, they now realize na kasi as you're going up the ranks, becoming generals of the future, you now have to think what is in the best interest of not just your service but beyond that the country. At the end of the day, what is the best national interest is the question. I found each of the courses more disturbing 
than the last. And this is a good thing. For in our discomfort, we come face to face and in facing these realities in this environment, we are enlightened by your knowledge and wisdom. We have our win research, when presented, we use different teaching methods, styles, and presentation aids. Every topic presented has a strong and permanent learning impact to me. A new way of thinking when approaching a new or difficult situation. This course wouldn't be a success if not for all the people behind it. This was the very definition of a gentleman's course. Even in the presence of my seniors, I have the opportunity to speak. They listen. They listen to my ideas. I know that the AFP, through its education and training units, understands clearly that investing in its men and women is crucial to developing the competent, effective, and above all, ethical leaders that our country needs and deserves. This program is in line with the Nexto's mission to develop PAF leaders at all levels with character and excellence. Mas matapang, mas responsable, mas masipag, at mas magalang kayo in dealing with the rigors of the service and also in changing the world for the better.